The Hearthstone basic set was recently replaced by the core set, which is basically the foundation of how to make decks in standard, but it got me wondering, how weak was the basic set? For those of you who don't know, the basic card set was in the game all the way back in Hearthstone Classic and basically set the foundation for new players to enter the game that didn't have a lot of cards, but you never wanted to use these cards. These cards aren't just bad, they're horrifically bad. And it makes total sense why the Hearthstone developers wanted to replace the basic set with the new core set because at least with the core set there are playable cards in it now it is important to note when it comes to the basic cards there are some outliers we see some of them still see play today like wild growth but most of them were just completely useless especially the neutrals now there is a clear winner when it comes to classes with the basic set and that was with mage mage had fireball frost nova polymorph arcing intellect and that's probably one of the main reasons why mage was so popular was because their basic set was actually pretty decent with hearthstone adding more expansions into the game we started to notice how weak the basic card set actually was and it makes total sense they were there for new players joining the game they weren't supposed to be the meta breakers of the expansion but when you compare some of the cards in the basic set to what we have now you might be a little bit surprised goldshire footman is a one mana one two neutral taunt minion and it doesn't really get more basic than that as more expansions got released we've seen firefly armor vendor and beaming sidekick all really trump what the goldshire footman can do Firefly not only generates you a token, but is an elemental. Armor Vendor is a 1-3 minion, just like Dire Mole. And then we have Beaming Sidekick, which helps you fight for board even more, but it's just a really good flexible one drop. Even though all of these one drops are better than Goldshire Footman, Goldshire Footman actually has the capabilities of stopping Deathwing. So was it really that bad? We then have River Crocolisk, which is everyone's favorite beast at a 2 mana 2-3 that got completely trunked by cards like Bone Truer Brawler, Our Watch Post, encumbered pack mule just to name a few there's actually a lot of cards released in hearthstone that just completely power crept this card one of the more recent examples from their newest expansion amalgam of the deep is the same stat line but rather than just being a beast it has all types and it discovers you another minion river crocolis didn't stand a chance shattered sun cleric actually saw a bunch of play back in classic at a three minute three two battle cry give another minion plus one plus one but like always this card also got power crept cards like Candle Taker, Brightwing, and I think the biggest power creep we've seen so far is Devouring Ectoplasm, which has the ability to not only be a 3 mana 3 2, but summon a 2 2 with a bonus effect afterwards. There's actually an example from Voyage into the Sunken City, Reefwalker, which is a 3 mana 3 2 elemental with the battle cry and a death rattle to summon a 1 1 Piranha Swarmer, which has Rush. Can I get an F in the comments for our boy River Crocolis? Silverback Patriarch is one of the classic meme cards when it comes to the base except but unfortunately it was just extremely weak this card was power crept by flying machine no ragged infantry but the most important one was stonehill defender which was the exact same card except for you got to discover another taunt minion actually really funny that they just took the same card design and then just added discover another taunt minion silverback patriarch will be missed booty bay bodyguard was a five mana five four taunt minion and unfortunately for this card it literally got power crept by one mana completely with evil head Heckler, which was the same card just at four mana. Just looking at Evil Heckler, by the way, is really funny because if you look at the cards that we see now coming out for Hearthstone, it actually blows my mind that this card was released. There's Faceless Corruptor, which was a five mana five four with Rush with a battle card to transform another minion into a copy of this one, which is an insane amount of stats for only five mana. And what do you need a top minion for when you could just kill the minion that's going to be attacking anyways? Booty Bay Bodyguard was just arguably worse than Sengen Shieldmaster, but they were both part of the basic set so we can't really complain. Boulder Fist Ogre is the best card ever printed in Hearthstone so this is definitely one of the outliers when it comes to the basic set. Arguably the funniest card in the basic set is War Golem at a 7 mana 7-7 seven, seven stat line with no text and it's funny because this card was unplayable. With the very first expansion of Hearthstone they decided to release the exact same card with Dr. Boom which does make it generate boom bots and the card became one of the best cards in the game. There's also a base of Draconid, which is a 7 mana 7-7 seven, seven with taunt, and it can't be targeted by spells or hero powers, and it is a dragon. But it's funny that War Golem was even put into the game because this card was virtually not played whatsoever unless you absolutely needed a card in Arena. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go through every single basic card in this video. If you want to go look at them, the link is in the description down below. Thankfully, Hearthstone finally realized how bad the basic set was and introduced the brand new core set, which has been one of the best additions to the game in recent 
recent times, but I had a crazy idea. Is it possible to win a game of Hearthstone with only basic cards? And I decided to go with Mage because Mage does have Fireball and Frostbolt. Those are two pretty great cards. Main idea of the deck is try to be super aggressive. We're just running a lot of early game minions, some Boulder Fist Ogres, and basically a bunch of charge minions to get some cheeky damage in order to actually kill our opponents. We're also running Flame Strike because it was really good with the basic set. Let's see if I can actually win a game. We're going against Warlock, so that's good, I think. And we're looking for some early game minions, right? None of these are really early games. Okay, Water Elemental on the coin is definitely not bad. Turn one, Tour Guide. Not good for anyone. Okay, this ain't really it, but we're we're okay. We have the ooze to follow up against the warlock that doesn't is not gonna play a weapon into the water elemental. There's no way that warlock has the tools to deal with six life on turn three. Just not possible. We wanted to be able to do damage, right? We already have nine damage in our hand, so that's pretty great. All right, they're tapping. We love to see tapping. Okay, double fireball. This is actually coming together. We push face. We just push face. We just want to make sure we're doing as much damage. Back in the older days, fireball into fireball into frostbolt used to be one of the main combos mage would kill you. And that he actually dealt with my water elemental. No. Oh my god, we're already out of steam. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, it's gonna die. So Mistress of Mixtures is such a good card compared to my Goldshire Footman, dude. Dang it. Oh my god, this removal. He's cheating. I'm only wait. That's actually not the worst thing for me, though. Armor. Armor. Oh, my God. Armor. Not armor vendor. This is illegal. Um, OK, what can we do here? Double arcane explosion seems kind of weak. I mean, I, I think that my main goal here is just to ping, right? Like, I don't really want to ping that. I clearly have a win condition here. And that's the only way I'm going to get it is just by being like kind of a nuisance. I mean, they could always just kill their mistress and mixtures. Oh, my God. It's just it's so bad. We're going to need Boulder Fist Ogre off the rip, dude. Please give me the ogre. OK, <laughs> all right, get in there. <laughs> all right, they're back at 30 at 30 life. I think it's very manageable. We can get there. Oh, my God, I already used two of my oozes, man. OK, that's damage. We'd love to see damage. You just don't have a way to kill yourself. No. Is this worth a flame strike? Mm, only if you were here last turn, dude. It would have been so good. Six damage. I mean. <laughs> I got to keep it alive, right? I might actually have to go Ogre and a Frostbolt. Okay, their whole hand is now discounted by 10 mana. I'm very excited for this. It's my, okay, two damage is good. We do have some burn in the deck, right? We do have Rock Reckless Rocketeer. We have the Wolf Rider. It's very pop. This is ridiculous. I feel like I'm being cheated. Well, I used Flame Strike last turn. They're actually somehow they're still above 31 life. OK, never mind. The owl. We're looking pretty dead. We're looking. This is looking like a death angle. Oh, <gasps> OK. Wait, maybe that's their whole win condition. Oh, my God. Rack, racked. No one actually thinks of the polymorph. OK, we do have another Flame Strike in the deck. Maybe my win condition now is not to burn my opponent. But in fact, just with the fatigue game, because what if they can't actually kill me? I do have a second polymorph in the yeah, I need the second polymorph right now or Arcanelic in a polymorph unless they can kill their guy. Could you imagine if I win this? No, no, that's cheating. Well, all right, we do have 15 damage from hand or I guess 12 right now. Uh, seven on board, so we have 19. We just need to figure out how to do the last 10 damage. And it's very possible, right? As long as they don't find the cards they need to just kill me in one turn, uh, we can win this. Oh my God. No, my ogre. Okay, water elemental's good. I need like this. This is what I needed this turn, I think. I think I'm dead though. Oh, we were, dude, we were so close. I actually think we would have won this game if they didn't actually kill their second owl. That would have been hilarious. No, dude. Oh, we tried. Basic cards just don't do anything, dude. We're going against Druid. Now, I think with a good early game, we can actually pull this through. Goldshire Footman is sick. They kept one card of their opening hand. I wonder what it is. Nature Studies is a really good card. Okay, well, get in there, dude. We go. <laughs> You're the champ. Okay. I feel it. I feel it. OK, Wolf Rider's sick, actually. Get in there, boys. Nice work. 
All right, 24, we're winning. Look at their, their life totals at 24, mine's at 30. It's as simple as that. Like, what, what can we do wrong here? Okay, pretty good card. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, am I just dead? What is going on here? I do have flame strike though. I do have flame strike. Okay. Depending on what this is. Are they killing this? They just wrath my gold shot. Wow. I guess we'll just play the mirror image because I have mana. Get the ping in. All right, so they're at 24 life. We're about to get five in, so they're going to be at 19. But we're in a good spot, I think. Overall, second Frostbolt's fine. Let's ship it. They never expect the second Reckless Rocketeer. It's easy. What if they actually can't answer the Reckless? Okay, Guff kind of sucks. That was, that was basically what my Reckless Rocketeer did last turn. Don't answer this. If this can do 10 damage, that's pretty sick. Nice. No, no. Okay. Wait, it actually does 10 damage. That's pretty sick. Do we just go all in? I would just use burn, right? All right, they're at 12. Okay, we actually have potential here to win this game. It's very possible that we can actually win this one. We need some pretty good top decks, but overall, I think this is the closest we're gonna, we're, this is it, this is the victory, right? Okay, Nourish is uh, a card, It's that's six mana. I'm getting swipe. Watermelt does a little slow, but it's okay. We get the extra damage in. I'm two, basically as long as they don't heal, and as long as I have two turns, which I think I guarantee have two turns here, They, what are they? They've recycled. If my next draw is fireball, if my next draw is fireball, we actually win this game. I don't know what they're doing. I'm very scared. Oh my God. They have eight. Look at my, they literally have 10 more mana than me. Ew, by nature studies. What do you mean? What do you mean? Who takes this? The I think it's safe to say that basic cards can't win a game.